How long have you been homeless for? Uh, I've been homeless for about, about five years. Five years? Did you have a job before this? I had a job, I was a merchant marine. Where do you sleep at night? Uh, I've been sleeping down at uh, one of the missions called the Bowery Mission. Are you homeless by choice? No, my, my own choice. Yeah, that's my choice, right? Yes. Okay, right. no, I, I don't blame nobody but myself. Is this how you've been sleeping out here? Yeah, I'm in Penn Station. Cops pretty much chase you around though. Sometimes I'll go on the subway trains and sleep on there for a couple hours just to get warm. I, I feel terrible. I, you have a baby coming? Yeah, I just found out I'm about two and a half months pregnant. Statistics show that on any given night in America, 700,000 to 2 million people are going to bed homeless and 31 million Americans now live in hunger or on the edge of hunger starvation. The conditions that these people live in are not only disgusting, but dangerous to the people around them and themselves, and there's nothing that they could do about it. A tip to get a few dollars for myself from the public. They're shopping, they're on the shopping street. Hey, young man, a penny for the homeless today? Hello, young lady, spare one penny for the homeless today? Hello, help, help the homeless today, sir? Sir, young lady, help the homeless today? A penny? My mother told me every lady has at least one penny in her park. All these stars, they won't even give a penny. And still, in one of the most expensive neighborhoods in New York, nobody could spend one penny. Hey, shop at Tiffany. On Bull Garvey's. Prada. Abercrombie and Fitch. Harry Winston. Louis Vuitton. First of all, I have no family. I work in the mail room. They degraded me. That's why you see a lot of people sleeping on the streets. I've been a street performer since 2000. That'd be approximately a decade. I'm Leonard Curry. They call me Duke. Duke. Business is it's, it's okay. Uh, before the economy hit, I was I was grossing maybe a grand a week. Yeah, do a Broadway. I like that. That's good. Forty odd years I've been struggling with demons. I had a lot of anger and animosity. At the age of seven, I was sexually molested. I was confused. It was a time I thought. Um, it was my fault. I started using drugs to s suppress my demons. I couldn't count them with both hands and feet. How many friends and relatives I've lost. I've seen both worlds. From, from, from torture to murder. You know, you had to be able to look through people and search their souls and see their souls in order, in order to survive. First, I think it's really sad that it happens to see people like that on the streets. I sort of feel bad, you know, because like, even though he's homeless, he might have got like cheated out of a job or something, you know. I mean, you have to kind of to have money going to help people, so. When you see a homeless person or when I see a homeless person, certainly you feel um, empathy or you feel bad for that person, you kind of think of what events in this person's life led them to be in that situation that they're in right now? Uh, I haven't ever really seen a homeless person, but if I have, then I would, I guess I would feel bad or have some sort of pity. Ain't working, like, you go get up and go get a job, you know, like, I'm out here hustling, trying to sell some tickets, make myself money. You go out and do something, you know what I'm saying, like, make your own money, you got me?
I'm here to tell you kids again. I know what peace and freedom means. And because I walked in the shadow of death and a light had shined upon me.